The question, the deaths of Vic Sage, issue four, Jeff Lemire and Dennis Cohen on the art. So, yeah, uh, probably the biggest uh, issue facing this book is just the time between issues. Now, obviously, it wasn't its fault that we had the, the, the shutdown uh, in the middle of the run and all, all that jazz. Uh, obviously, a lot of it you get from context anyway, I think, in this final issue. But there's that. I feel like there was definitely some small things that when I read it again and I actually remember the, the story beats of all the previous issues, it'll play better. Yeah, I don't think this one was as bad as the the break between two and three, where I struggled no. a lot more. Oh, for sure, I think yeah. three refreshed me enough that I managed with this one all right. Yeah. Um, the <laughs> Imagine reading this book and then the state of the world happens as it does. I, I and know. It would seem that Lemire was looking into a a, a future machine. Because when, when was issue one? Was issue one even this year? No, no I don't think I don't so. Believe so. Uh, but I have to I have to question which parts of this issue were written how recently? Because there are some specific lines of dialogue that feel yeah. very sure. But the the yeah. setup for it, the the the, the, you know, the police murder of of the innocent yep. man that that was something that. I assume it was an issue one. It was mentioned in issue one. Yeah. It had to have been. Because uh, right. it's just there. I'm just so. talking about some, some of the imagery that gets here. Some of the stuff that, that uh, he says, that Charlie says, or Victor, whatever whatever version of himself is in Hub City right now, um, is, is very apparent for, for now. So if this had come out like it was supposed to, that you was- know, and, and, and I get what Lemire's saying. Lemire is just saying, of course, stuff repeats because we're not. We're not fixing the problem. We're fixing the symptoms. Yeah, I mean, and the, the, it's going to keep happening the, regardless. It's kind of the, it's, the unless we really fix hurtful. ourselves. It's, it's, is the bit where he, he kind of says, you know, I know what you're saying. You know, it's not just one cop. It's not just one man. Right. There's no point. I'm like, yeah, God, right. 2020 shit. I mean, it's kind of, in, in many ways, obviously in this modern context, but it, in many ways, it's doing a lot of what the Wonder Woman movie was kind of doing, and then we were hoping mm-hmm. it would go further with it, but it kind of copped out by actually having the big villain to fight. Yeah. This kind of does the thing where the villain's there to fight, but then afterwards, the problem's still it, it there. Didn't, it didn't yeah. fix yeah. it, yeah. And it makes, the, you know, it makes that point very clear at the end, where, no, the, the battle goes ever on, the question doesn't rest, because, I mean, he just, you know, he, the last page is him walking into the, the, the riot crowd to, like, help with the fight and saying, uh... You know, I'm the question, and there will be answers. You know, the idea that people will answer for the things that have happened. Yeah. So. Yeah. M- maybe that villain was exacerbating things. Maybe he yeah. was mm-hmm. physically making things worse, but he he wasn't the root cause. Well, it's how do you how do you fight an abstract concept like evil, right? And that that's ultimately what this is because evil has many faces, while good typically only has one or no face, right? Like in this case. And uh, the one thing that, that stood out to me was that page towards the end where he says he's, he's got the full, you know, question face on, but he's in his typical, his, his suit, right? He's not in the full garb. So he's kind of halfway there. And he says, evil has to try. It has to manipulate and has to plan a plot, but good, good just has to be. And you're like, oh man, okay, there's some hope in this. And then it, the oh, dude shoots sure. himself. It all hell breaks <laughs> loose. And you're kind of like, Oh man, like maybe yeah. that's not. Oh, it definitely, point. yeah, it, it definitely gets dark. Oh, just on a point that Matt said there about good having one face or no face is I think that kind of part part of the irony of the question or part of the intent of the question, at least as I'm reading it from that comment, mm-hmm. is that I think evil equally has kind of no face. The idea that okay, in this case there is a face that you can go to, but it still exists, so it's kind of faceless in the larger context. Mm-hmm. So the idea that the question is kind of intentionally the good version of that where no i am going to be good without a face so that i am mm-hmm. just as omnipotent as evil is right which so. seems to go in counter to what he does with tot though because we're he puts on the question face mm-hmm. to show everybody right that he's got nothing like this is who i am so he puts a face on the question right. the question has we're, a face. we're making like moves we're making movie references today. Uh, I'll say it's the end of The Howling, where she turns into a werewolf on national TV. That's what this is, except he's putting on his question oh, mask. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so I like that. I do like that, it, that Lemire sets up the hope, right? That, oh, he's defeated evil. Yet evil will continue to exist, so it's a never-ending fight. And then he goes out and is like, well, no, Tot was right. It's more than just a bad cop and a bad mayor. And it's society itself. And unless we fix society itself, this stuff's going to keep happening like it has to Charlie 
from the old West and, and the problems of society then to, you know, the gangster era, you know, the forties era version of him, same kind of deal. And then now, and, uh, yeah, man, it's, it's Lemire working at his, you know, when he does superhero stuff like this, I feel it's at his highest. It's a bit grimy. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a, yeah. there's a creepy flashback that. where, uh, the, the villain shows up to mm-hmm. Vic as a kid. And yeah. basically, so do you remember me or you will? Yeah, basically, mm-hmm. kind of threatens yeah. him very ominously. It's sort of like, well, and he appears in in the form of a priest, right? Yeah, yeah. Or is this a guy in a suit? Yeah, okay. It's, no, it's a priest. He's got the collar. Yeah, yeah. And and so again, I think that's Lemire going on that that it can come from anywhere, even people that you're supposed to trust. You know. Uh, but yeah, no. And it's, if you it's were, really good, man. If you were, conf- also I've enjoyed the question. If you were confused that this was a black label, but not all is there f bombs and stuff. But at one point, mm-hmm. there's, you know, the, the villain straight straight up punches a woman in the face, and it's it feels quite brutal yeah. when it happens. It was like, whoa, okay, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So you know, it does have that sort of dark uh, vibe to it, and there's a lot of he straight up fakes like a, a you know an army of SWAT or, at one point. So there's a lot of action in this one compared to the previous issues. It, I think what really makes this work, and I can see this working as a sort of like special episode of a TV show or even a movie. Mm-hmm where you have all this set up in the first which is why i think this is going to read very well on trade is you have a lot of this present day set up in issue one and in issues two and three there's almost a sort of vision quest into the past sort of contextualizing showing how it's a cycle yeah and then he comes back in the final issue the final part of the story so the actual story plays out in this sort of bookend and the middle is kind of it's you know own sort of character journey in, individual stories yeah. almost mm-hmm. yeah uh so you can kind of see how this this works as a movie where he eventually comes back at the end to actually take on the villain there's not actually a lot of development for the villain in the sense that there's a lot of stuff he's doing in present day like we set up a status quo and then he just has to be dealt with like it's just it's, it's that simple mm-hmm. because that's how the structure allows it but uh i liked all this but like you say yeah, it's really dark where uh the there's a guy who shoots himself in the head the brother after yeah yeah i Honestly, I really only have two critiques of this issue, and only one of them's a proper critique. One of them's a little nitpick that I just mm-hmm. hated. No, I hate it's even a strong word. Uh, the main one is, I think, this issue I actually felt being a little bit long. I, I didn't feel it on any of the other issues, because obviously they've, they've all been the same length, this 50-odd pages, whatever it is. This one I felt like it just meandered a little bit much here or there. Just not even like tons, just like every so often I felt scenes going on a page or two pages longer than they should have done just felt like i wanted to tighten up by a handful of pages here or there yeah uh, i would say that i mean maybe, you know i said there's a lot of fighting that could have been trimmed down a little bit and uh, maybe the tote argument of like what you should do was maybe just a little touch long yeah there's a couple of beats like yeah. that yeah and then the other one that's not this is very much a me complaint and people hate mm-hmm. this uh tip for top oh i hated that <laughs> i hated changing it to that and, oh no, and I know his name's Top, but oh, just mm. yeah. No, I get that. Um, <laughs> that, that really just grinded me. I, yeah. just, I, I, I also thing. loved. No, I loved, no, what, should have, uh, no, what should have happened is that Vic should have responded well. In that case, a bit of Top for Tat. Then he should have flipped yeah. it. He should have flipped it. Yeah, terrible. Um, no, you're making it worse. I, I love Top also yelling at him. He goes, "Ah, oh, you were seeing that acid head." Richard Dragon again, weren't you? I told you you can't go hang out with him. <laughs> like a disappointed dad. Like, I, I love that beat right there. Yeah, that, that was kind of good. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so, but no, this is... I, I understand why the questions become such a cult character. And, you know, I, I... With all the problems that Rorschach presents, right, in modern society and, and you know, kind of how he was used in the movie versus the original Watchmen comic and then the TV show... I'm glad to read the original version of that character in the whole black and white shades of gray type mentality. And I feel like Lemire really ran with that. Yeah. In fact, there's and, a, know, there's a tribute page at the end uh, to, mm-hmm. to Danny O'Neill. And I think, you know, obviously this is one of these things where when he started writing this book, Danny O'Neill hadn't passed away. Unless, unless I'm forgetting no, when that no, happened. No, I think it was, yeah. I think, I think it was the week that we actually read the last issue of this. Ah, there you go. So, it's just, it's just, you know, it's one of those things where that happened while this book was coming out, and uh, he was able to put in this, this, uh, you know, personal statement at the end, talking about how he'd never, you know, he would never have written a question book if if Daniel hadn't done what he'd done on the character. So, uh, no, really, really nice. Uh, so, 
Uh, no, it was a really good issue, and I, I, I'm excited to read it again at some point is one big thing. Um, obviously, yeah. the big delay in the middle, which wasn't its own fault, obviously, uh, kind of hurt yeah, the pacing. I think it was intended, always intended to be every other month. I think there was, between issues one and two, an extra month anyway, uh, yeah. accidentally, which was an unintentional delay, obviously. Um, and then it had the big problem, with, along with every other comic in the world. Yeah, uh, so it had, it had like what three months between two and three, maybe even. I think it was longer. Yeah, maybe even before. Uh, so yeah, that that hurt just because it was hard to remember what happened in the previous but issues. You gotta, you know, really not hold it against the book nah. when it when it does that. I I think uh, you know, as a two hundred page trade or graphic novel, you want to call it. Uh, this will be a fine. I mean, thing to give to that, someone. That's, a, that's a, something worth noting is a lot of other companies are experimenting with straight to graphic novels now and obviously dc are kind of dipping it here or there they got the stag shot one coming up we know that i could see stories like this some of these black label stories going straight to graphic novel in the future and and mm-hmm. seeing how they sell oh, oh, mate, mate. Mike, um seeing how they sell that way because i think this feels like the perfect sort of one to just hand out as a as a you know straight as a as an ogn uh it kind of does it makes it a nightmare for us to cover uh, it does if yes. they do that because we can't really fit in full trades in a week with other comics that said though if they if they do trim down the line enough maybe, maybe we can if we, only, if we only get three comics a week maybe we can do a trade in three comics but uh it doesn't seem like it's going that way uh quite yeah. yet so not just yet no uh but hey no nah, there's a solid issue uh, art's fantastic it was several pages yeah. the page of him right going. right on the rooftop at one point or I like the pages where he's kind of like walking through the street and we're getting the three different time periods behind yeah. him as he's walking. That's really cool. I like yeah. that. Really I, uh, I love the colours on this book as well. I think they really make it pop. Mm-hmm. Uh, they yeah. just the, really make it feel of its time. Mm-hmm. All right, Matt, what are you giving it? Um, I think it's 8.5. Connor? Uh, it's a straight 8 from me. Yeah, I'll go with straight 8 on this one, I think. Uh, but it's the one sort of thing that when I read it all again together, it, it may actually veer up a little bit. Uh, But that is the question, the deaths of Vic Sage, issue four.